Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The frontrunners to replace Marty Shear Gold on his Triple M Melbourne Breakfast Show have been revealed. The host, 53, confirmed earlier this week he will not be returning to the morning radio slot but will continue his podcast and national 3 p.m. slot with the network. He said he wanted to spend more time with his family and prioritize self-care after a mysterious three-month absence last year following an alleged incident at the AFL Grand Final. Now, the frontrunners to step into Sheargold's shoes have been revealed, with predictions that Mick Malloy's Triple M show could be broadcast in its place. I think there's a chance that Mick Malloy will be broadcast into both Melbourne and Sydney, Craig Bruce an ex-radio executive who hosts the Game Changers Radio, Melbourne Radio Wars podcast, told news.com.au. Comedian Malloy currently hosts Triple M's Sydney Breakfast show with NRL's Mark Geyer, and it would not be the first show to mark a radio expansion into Melbourne. He's FM's Kyle and Jackie O show branched out into Melbourne audiences earlier this year in a $200 million deal that secures their position for the next 10 years. Radio expert Bruce also theorized that Dave Hughes, who hosts Sydney's two-day FM breakfast show, could return to Melbourne's airwaves to fill in the position. He previously co-hosted the Hughesy Kate show, before Kate Langbroke left the program in 2019 to spend more time with her family, with Hughes moving on to host Hughesy, Ed and Aaron. The gap in the market comes after Triple M confirmed on Thursday that radio broadcaster Sheer Gold would not be returning to his breakfast radio show. Taking an extended break at the end of last year has reinforced the importance of spending more quality time with my family, Sheargold said in a statement. As a result, I have made the decision to prioritize self-care, maintaining a better work-life balance and will not be returning to my Triple M breakfast show. However, I will continue the Marty Sheargold Show podcast, along with the 3 to 4 p.m. National Triple M Show. He continued, I want to thank my immediate team and the network for their ongoing support and understanding. And I'd also like to thank the listeners for their loyalty to both the show and the station. Like them, I remain a Triple M fan. SCA Chief Content Officer, Dave Cameron, said, SCA supports Marty's decision to rebalance his personal and work commitments, and we'd like to thank Marty and his team for creating a unique and hilarious breakfast show for Melbourne since 2021. It is exciting, however, that our listeners will continue to hear Marty alongside his current team of Troy Ellis, Loren Berry, and Will Ralston across both the Triple M Network as a national afternoon radio show and on his fan-favorite daily podcast on Lee STNR, which regularly ranks prominently on the Australian Podcast Ranker. The move comes after his mysterious three-month absence last year following an alleged incident at the AFL Grand Final. The former breakfast host took personal leave after the alleged incident at the AFL Grand Final last year, which saw him depart at halftime. According to reports, he was ejected by security at the MCG due to offensive comments he made to other guests. When approached for comment, a Southern Cross Austereo spokesperson told Daily Mail Australia at the time, Marty Sheargold left the AFL Grand Final at halftime of his own accord. Sheargold was on air the week after the Grand Final but disappeared just days later, prompting Anthony Lemma Lehman to fill in for him. The troubled Melbourne radio host said he went on an extended break because he had burned himself out. I realized I'd absolutely burned myself out over the last couple of years, he explained. He went on to say he was inspired by AFL coaches Alistair Clarkson and Damian Hardwick, who both stepped away from their respective footy teams last year. Two men last year who put their hands up and said, I need a break. And I thought, you know, I need a break, Sheargold said. Things are changing. I'm not doing routine this year, he added, to which his producer Loren Berry said, you're just doing you. Marty then made a bizarre quip, saying, I'm going to do H asterisk 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 again as well. That'll be fun, so stick around for that. Watch the wheels fall off. After returning to the show, some listeners branded his return to the airwaves as on.